story. A van was spotted taking away stray cats. So recently an issue that has been tugging at the heartstrings of animal lovers in the city was brought to Love and Dubai's attention. And residents have reported instances of stray cats being rounded up and being taken away in vans. This issue has raised questions and concerns as these stray cats are being removed regardless of whether they have been neutered or not. While pest control companies are involved, the fate of those animals remain unclear, leaving the community in distraught. Now, many dedicated individuals have been actively working to provide care for sick and injured strays found on the streets. These rescuers uh, spend their own money to save these animals, covering bed bills, neutering, and returning them to their habitats. And now we're neutering them as in the TNR programs. It is disheartening for them to witness the sudden removal of these cats that they've spent so much money and time on. Massively. So we regularly say, and it's a phrase that people use so often, not all heroes wear capes. The people looking after in the communities that it's safe to do so, stray animals, like they really do spend their time and their money to give these animals a better life. And as you said, this situation is extremely disheartening. It's escalated recently with stray cats from different areas in Dubai being trapped and according to social media reports being taken away. These uh, cats are sometimes healthy, neutered, vaccinated and even microchipped, which is why question marks have risen over why they would be taken away. Uh, Reports of vans patrolling the city um, has caused distress and worry among the animal loving community. The motivation behind these actions remain unclear and the community has been left in a state of helplessness. So whether you jump onto um, any group in any area of Dubai, um, you will see a lot of these animal lovers just reporting this incident and you know, complaining about as to why it's happening. And reports of these cats being poisoned, killed, or taken away have left everyone in tears. Um, the dedicated efforts, time and money invested by rescuers to improve the lives of these animals are being upended. And unfortunately, such incidents are not isolated. And we've heard of many such before this. And the lack of proper care um, of you know, these abandoned animals may be a reason as to like, why they're being taken away. Dubai is home to a significant community of animal lovers. We speak about rescue centers so often. It's sometimes centers. It's also just people who are doing the most that they can because they are deeply concerned about the welfare of strays. Many residents have taken it upon themselves uh, to help control the population because, as you know, a stray cat population can multiply by the millions. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's why they have that TNR. uh, In some areas, it is allowed. However, recent events have shed light on challenges faced by these animals despite community efforts. On a related note, feeding strays is prohibited in many parts of Dubai with strict penalties imposed on those caught feeding animals in certain communities. So it really is worth checking which communities it's allowed and which communities it's not. And the penalty goes up to 500 dirhams. And as concerns about the treatment of strays in the city continue to grow, many are hoping for a resolution that considers the well-being of these animals and the efforts of those who strive to make a difference. Um, so basically what the community is asking for is like these cats not to be taken away in such and left in such harsh conditions. They want a solution that ensures their well-being and plus doesn't like... you know, uh, have all their efforts put down to drain. Because so true. What, and what is the solution, you know? Yeah. Um, because if you go on to these really passionate Facebook groups, uh, what happens is it's usually a couple of people and they, they need more money, they need more resources to help look after these animals. But can they continuously do this? Yes, they can, of course. But is it going to be, is it a solution to the problem or is it kind of a stopgap as the problem continues? So yeah. I don't know. What is the, what is the solution? That's so true. And like the visuals that they share on these groups, it's heartbreaking to see these stray cats and dogs, firstly, ill-treated, secondly, abandoned, thirdly, like if they're strays, like what's come of them, you know, like the different states of disintegration, like a decomposition, a decomposition of like when they're dying and they're left in like, uh, you know, they're taken from their habitat of where they've marked the territory and left in like a completely deserted area. So it's just It's heartbreaking visuals. Do you have the name of that Facebook group that's doing so much work, so much good? Um, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We will do something on this a little bit later because I know people feel so passionately about Dubai this Cats. cause. Dubai Cats is an amazing Facebook group. Um, the people behind it are literally working night and day uh, to help um, helpless animals. So if you would like to learn more, uh, send us a DM and we'll put you in touch with them or just follow the Facebook group um, and you can help any way you can uh, to help.